Hi, this is Pastor Rick. I want to talk to you today about a very important topic, and that is when somebody's in desperate need, they cry out for help, and they really need somebody to listen to them and help them. The Bible tells about him, such a man in Mark 10, verse 47. It says, When blind Bartimaeus heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, Son of David, have mercy on me. I recently preached a message on the topic of when truth and mercy come together and the Lord makes a way for us to follow him and get close to him because it's actually kind of an oxymoron, truth and mercy. Truth refer refers to such things as we're all guilty before God and there is such a thing as holiness or righteousness before God and mercy is when God withholds what we do deserve which is justice because of our sin. So when truth, truth and mercy come together, it means when the Lord, who is truth, comes to us and he takes our sin upon himself and dies for us. And because he's merciful, he extends forgiveness to us and grace to us. And he offers to you and to me to forgive us for our sin, even though we've committed great sins against him. Now, blind Bartimaeus, let's talk about this guy. He probably never expected to be able to see. And some of you might say, I don't ever see how I can get out of the situation I'm in right now. Well, you're not alone. Most people who are in a really tough situation can't see their way out of it. They need help. That's why this church is here to help you and one another. And that's why the Lord Jesus Christ helps all of us. It says, Jesus Christ came to town. When you come to church here, you're going to find Jesus Christ is here with us. It's not an empty place. When, when uh, Jesus came, Bartimaeus cried out, and he cried out for the right thing. He cried out for mercy. He didn't cry out for justice. I used to know people who say, well, I demand to have some justice around here. And I said, be careful. If you say that, what you're saying is, well, let's examine your life and see if what you really deserve. <laughs> and I think if we're honest, we say, Oh, wait a minute, I don't want what I deserve. I just want the mercy. So he, he needed some other things, but what he, like you, and what I and myself, we need most of all is the mercy of God. He cried out also to the right person. There's a lot of people you can ask for help, and you're asking the wrong person because they're going to take your needy situation and use it against you. They're either going to talk about you behind your back, or they're going to promise you something to, in order to take advantage of you. And I hate those things. What I, what I want to do is to help people, I mean sincerely help people out of a situation into a better one, okay? And that, that gives me the most joy. Anyway, he cried out to the right one. He cried out to Jesus Christ because he is the only one in all the world who could actually help this man. He was blind. They had no miracle drugs no miracle laser surgeries. He was in a time when there wasn't really anybody who could help him except Jesus. And he's there for you and me today. This is not old news. He's still working today. Salvation, for example, is found in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. That's in Acts chapter 4, verse 12. So Bartimaeus cried out, and he cried out, at the right time to the right person. Suppose he'd said, I'm going to find out what other people think about Jesus, or I'll wait until he comes to Jericho again. But Jesus never returned to Jericho. Some of you are thinking, Pastor Rick, I don't have time for this today. Someday I'll get around to getting my life turned around. Someday I'll call out to Jesus. Someday, when I get around to it and I have some free time, I'll think about getting my life on the right track. Friend, that time will likely not ever happen again. Right now, right now, this very time I'm talking to you could be the time for you to say, you know what, I need to cry out to Jesus right now. I need to stop putting this off. If you are in a place today where you say, Pastor Rick, I know I need to stop running. I need to stop dodging. I need to get right with God right now. Then I want to tell you something. The Lord's here. 
even though I'm talking to you through the video, the Lord's with you wherever you are. The Bible says this, now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. So what do you think you need to cry out to Jesus about? I don't know and it's none of my business, but you, where you are, <clears throat> you can talk to the Lord right now. You can say, Lord, I'm a sinner. He said, I know it. He said, Jesus, forgive me. I want to turn away from my sin. I want to thank you for taking my sin on yourself. I want to thank you for dying on a cross for me. I know that you were buried. I know that you rose again from the grave. And I ask you right now to forgive me of my sin. Jesus, have mercy on me. Forgive me and give me new life. You know what? If you pray that to the Lord right now, where you are, the Lord will hear you. He'll forgive you. He'll be your Lord and your Savior forever. I want to know about it, though. I'm talking to you, and I can't see you right now. If you make that decision, will you come to our church or call my secretary make an appointment? I'd love to meet with you, answer any question you have. I'd love to rejoice with you in the decision that you make today. Don't put it off. Today is your day. God bless you.